Hello everybody, today I'm going to explain very briefly the difference between a Windows domain and a workgroup. We're going to start off with workgroups. A workgroup is what we can find only at any home, since we have a few devices, let's say laptops and desktop computers. Uh, we can also find a workgroup in um, small businesses. Uh, when I say small, I mean between 2 and 10 people. The whole point of a workgroup or a domain is to share resources, in this case, folder, files, or printers. Uh, the main characteristics of a workgroup is, is that it is decentralized, and all computers are considered the same. In order to share a file or printer, one client must be available all the time or have the data needed on every single workstation. Since Windows has admin accounts, the same account has to be created on every single computer in order to manage them. Any user account only exists locally. So now we have an example. Let's say we have employee A, also we have employee B. Besides them, we are going to have this third workstation, which is not in use right now due to the fact that the user is out on vacation. So this uh, workstation is available for anybody to use. Now, let's say employee A is working on something and suddenly his computer fails, which happens. Now, he's normally going to go to the other available workstation, but he's going to find something. His username and password is not going to work. And even if it did, the stored data is not the same and might not have the same application as his old computer. This is going to lead to unproductivity and to angry boss and even angry employee. So now we're going to explain a little about Windows domains. A Windows domain is uh, commonly found at uh, medium-sized businesses or large corporation, corporations, such as hospitals or markets, supermarkets. The whole point is to also share resources and to serve a lot of people that work in these corporations. Domains are centralized. This means it is a, it's managed by a domain controller there is one main admin username and password to manage all workstations. All user masks have been created or will be created in the domain controller in order to access the resources, files, and printers. The domain controller manages the users in, depending on their permissions. Every computer joined to the domain depends on domain controller, but they do not depend on it in, on each other individually. Use, they also use group policy to control all settings on the workstations. Uh, here we have an example. Let's say we have a domain controller and we also going to have a file server who is going to be the one that is going to uh, allow clients to, uh, to access to resources. As you can see here, as I mentioned, the domain controller also called DC can be Windows 2016, for example, a file server might be Windows 2016 as well, or 20, 2012. These two are linked, are in the same network, are connected to each other. Let's say in this company we have the finance team, which, uh, which has three, uh, three people working on it. These people may need different applications. Let's say they need Outlook, which is email, Excel, and Word to type records and documents. We also have in this company the marketing team, which is also, which also has three members. This, uh, the marketing group might need different applications and needs than the finance group. For, for instance, in, uh, besides having uh, Outlook, Word, and Excel, they might need PowerPoint to make presentation and publisher to make, to make other kind of files. These two groups might also need, and will also need, access to folders and files. The finance group might need access to payroll and to annual reports, which the marketing team doesn't need. So this means we need a separation in permissions and folders. Now, the way, um, the way domains work is when you log into a domain, you are going to be authenticated. So it's going to say, oh, you are for marketing, you have access to these folders or to these applications. And we don't need to worry about a computer failing because we can go to another and do the same job. 
Well, this is very briefly how a domain and a workgroup work, guys. Uh, thank you for, for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. And I release videos uh, once a week. Um, please um, consider subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.